taking this one. This is the point set of card, but we're not going to start with this one. Um, and then the other card we're, cards we're doing is this one, which is the mini slimline card and the um, little gift card. So this actually was connected and it was a slimline card. I cut it at six inches. So this color is pewter. This is a new color that is on the color choices of our slimline cards. It says under the slimline products, there's cards and it says click for color choices. I added this pewter color today. So anyways, so what I did was I just took my paper cutter and you guys can't see this because I'm just sitting, that's okay. Um, my mom was gonna move the camera, but you don't need to see me. I just took a basic slimline card like this and I cut it at six inches. And that brought it to a mini slimline card, which we have the envelopes for, and then a little gift card. So this one is called a gift card and it fits in our little gift card envelope. Now, I think I am gonna have my mom move the um, camera down. Can you give us any more flash sale hints? <laughs> oh, well, Friday's gonna be some metallic stuff. How about that? Um, so we're gonna go down. And I'm just gonna show you on this card right here, there is a background. So I'm gonna show you how I got that background. On the original directions, I was going to stamp this and emboss it on our dull gloss. And I started, and that's how that's what the directions say, but I started doing it and it just was not going good for having to do um, like a couple hundred of them. So I ended up using glossy. So the directions do say dull gloss. I used a glossy paper and I just stamped it with stays on. That allowed me to get my kits out to you in time. Um, the insert that, oops, ignore that because I was just playing around. Um, the insert is dull gloss, which you can stamp on with regular ink, not a pigment ink because it probably won't dry, but a, like a regular dye-based ink and that will dry. Or you can just use this for something else. Lisa from Local King does all kinds of stuff with markers on solid stamps and she uses the dull gloss all the time. So if you want to save that piece and just put a piece of white cardstock, and again, ignore that, I was just playing around. Um, if you want to put just a regular piece of white cardstock in there, you, you can. So that's how I stamped your image. That's an image from Impression Obsession. And then our background image, I'm going to show you how I did that. And I'm using a little bit darker gray that we just had some samples of, just so you can see the ink a little bit better. I did mask off at your score as best as I could, just because I didn't know if you liked white ink on the back of your cards. So this is a mega mount from Impression Obsession. It is a curved block with a handle, and so it's slightly curved here. And this is one of their cover card stamps. So the stamp is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. I always put my image close to one edge because then when I'm setting, when I'm going to stamp it, I know how close I have to be to my paper. Um, and also on this edge, when you're new with this and you start to rock it, you could it could slide. Where if you have the rubber down on the end, usually it'll catch on your paper. So when I'm inking it up, now I got smart and I put a piece of duct tape behind there because this is one of the ink pads that's very narrow so I got sick of getting my hands all dirty I mean I usually have dirty hands anyways um, but they were getting really inky so I just put this little handle on and that worked out super good and I just used a white pigment ink so this is frost white by Colorbox um, I don't even know if Colorbox is around anymore but I've had this forever and I like it. It's a good white ink. So I inked it up. Oh, is there a question? Um, can't find the oval and circle die cuts. Help. Okay, I'll tell you in just a second. Um, so while I have my ink wet, I'm just gonna stamp. I always put my hands up at this top edge and then I rock it forward, applying pressure the whole way down and roll it up. And that's how I get my background on there. Now, 
this background does, it doesn't connect, but since it's so non, it doesn't, it's not like geometrical shapes. It is kind of a random, it's, I think it's called herb leaves. Um, so then I can stamp that. And I just tried to line it up close. When will the virtual card class start tonight? It has. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Um, so anyways, that's how I got the background on your card. I did let that dry for a little bit. So you, while you're, while I'm talking, you can be punching out your words, which I already pre-punched mine out. Now these are with our silver mirror card and our black mirror card. And I did layer them together. You can use glue. I usually put the glue on the back of the mirror card and you wanna just use small amounts because when you tend to get glue on the front, um, it doesn't wipe off, it just kind of smears. And I did offset these by just a little bit so you could see the black behind there. So I don't know if you can see that in the picture or not. Is IO going to be on Wednesday night also? No, IO is just gonna to be tonight. So tomorrow night, on Wednesday night, we're doing our super live sale, which I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, so for this card, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just layering this piece. Now your, your piece with your stamp on it, this you do have to trim closer. And that's up to you how close you wanna trim it. If you have a personal paper trimmer, you can go ahead and trim it. I did give you the gems to attach right here. You're gonna pile your season's greetings on top of each other with some glue. Now I like to use um, spray adhesive when I do that. And I'm a scissors girl, so you can use a personal paper trimmer if you have one, or you can just cut it. And I didn't cut right up to the image. I cut and I left a little bit of white showing. Is the red mirror lava paper double-sided? No, the red Miri Lava is single-sided. It's white on the other side, It's white right? on the other side, correct. So. Thank you, Melinda. That you're just gonna attach onto there. And then you can put your gems on there. I did pile these on top of each other, so I'm gonna go back by my spray adhesive. Now, the person that asked about the overlays I can talk while I'm spray adhesive, adhesiving. Um, the overlays are under, there's a section that says window cards and overlays, I believe, mm -hmm. or it just says overlays and you can click on that and it brings up all kinds of different shaped overlays. Back to the Mars Curious Cosmic Paper, does that sheen come in any other colors? The Mars Curious Cosmic is a discontinued stock. So they used to have a really pretty red and a really pretty blue and a really pretty green. Keyword, used to. So they don't give us any choices when they discontinued stuff. We just go to reorder it and then all of a sudden, bam, we get a notice saying it's discontinued, which is very unfortunate because that stock, especially the red, was just beautiful. Now the brown, doesn't look like anything on our website, but when you get it in your hot little hands, which Kay discovered, it's super pretty. If I have a product in my cart and then it goes on the flash sale, will the price in my cart adjust? No, the prices won't adjust. You have to take it out of your cart and put it back in your cart. So, but the flash sale items were not, you couldn't have had them in your cart because they're not regular items on our website. I just put them on there just today, just for the flash sale. And they weren't active until like 5.55. So you couldn't have put them in your cart before they were actually earlier today because they weren't, they weren't there. Melinda Morning, you're right. The cart disappears every night. Oh. Yes, I forgot to say that. Okay, the, the, um, the cart disappears every night, so you have to close it out. Uh, but you can open a new cart the next day, and then you will get your flash sales and other things, but your well, flash the, sale will not adjust. The, the flash sale will also not be there. So 
I took the flash sale down last night because we were out of product at like 9.30. And so if a product actually gets deleted from my website, it, your cart, it won't show up in your cart. Is that Ron in your paper cut logo? And where did that logo come from anyway? <laughs> so somebody designed that logo for us and no, they did not have Ron in mind when they did that. So I didn't attach mine down, but basically that is our first card. Um, and now we are gonna go on to our little mini gift card. So for the gift card, remember I said this is the end of our slimline card and here's the cute little envelope that it fits in. It's called a gift card envelope. So the envelope is actually um, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Your little card is two and a half by three and a half. And then we have our slimline envelope that fits our mini slimline card. Cool. So for this one, we are using our confetti holographic which that is just a layer, but don't go ahead and attach it to the card yet. We have, a, we have a solid white piece that actually goes on the inside as just a layer, so that you can just stick on the inside. Our ornament is die cut twice. So we die cut our ornament and our Noel just on a piece of our silver mirror card. I pre-punched mine out. And then we die cut our ornament on a piece of, I think this is either ice silver or um, white lady. So you're just going to pop that out. This ornament is an extra piece and you're actually not using it on this card. So you can just set that aside to use it later. Melinda says color box is out of business now. Oh, that stinks. Okay, so for our ornament card or our little ornament layer, you're going to turn it over and I'm just putting it on my card, but it's not being attached. And this is how, this is an inlaid technique. So I have my ornament and I'm working on the back side of it. And then I lay my metallic side face down and kind of lay it in there. Now this will be the front of my card, but I just take a little bit of tape and it can be just a scotch tape or whatever. And I just put a little bit of tape in an area that I know is gonna be covered up. So I know that this top section, I'm gonna cover up with a, like a bow. And then down at the bottom, I know I can hit just a little bit of it with my tape, just to hold it in place. What did you use to mask the back of the card with? Oh, I use post-it notes four by six post-it notes um, from the office supply store or the dollar store or where, wherever. I keep these and I use them for everything. When I teach classes, these go down on every table um, to use for masking. Or if you're gluing, you can do your wet glue on here and you don't get it on your big place mat. So I, these are a staple in my craft room. I don't sell them. They're just four by six post-it notes. They're good, great for masking off. Melinda, thanks for helping with the answers. You can get to them quicker than I can and quicker than Sarah can, so thank you. So I just, you can't hardly see it, but I just used a little bit of tape and I held that from the back. And now I'm going to put more tape around the outside of here. And if I want, I can use a little glue pen and put a little bit of glue on the ornament. I have to move this. My background paper just happens to be gray too, which my card color is gray, which this that tends to make a problem. Can you comment um, back up a little bit and comment on the quality of your water um, watercolor paper? Okay, we've got three different watercolor papers. We've got our light, light duty watercolor paper, which is just a hundred <clears throat> pound. That is not an artist watercolor paper. That is more of a stamping technique watercolor paper. Um, you're doing some stamping techniques that's just, you're spritzing some water on it. It doesn't take heavy brush blending or it will pill up. You cannot use a lot of water on it or it will pill up. So it's just a light duty for some of those stamping techniques that require some water. Okay, then we have our Royal Ultra Felt, which is 110 pound 
watercolor paper that has cotton that has fibers in it and um, you can spread the inks on there really well and it's very absorbent so you can brush blend on it fairly hard um, without pilling now it will pill if you brush blend a ton on there but you can brush blend more on there without getting the pilling and it's very absorbent um, so your inks will actually like soak into there um, you can blend at first but once they soak in it's hard to move them around after um, then we have our cold press watercolor paper which is the artist quality watercolor paper and that you can brush blend on it won't pill up your colors will stay on top for you to move them around um, that's really the higher quality if you're doing a lot of watercoloring is there a difference between crystal diamond print glitter paper and the diamond print glitter card stock? They're the same. I just must have them listed differently. All right. So the crystal diamond print <clears throat> is the crystal diamond print. There's only one. So anyways, I put tape on the back of there. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue pen on the back of my ornament. And then I am going to stick that to my holographic layer. So that you're just going to center on that holographic layer. Do we get <clears throat> do we get 25% off the other items in the sale area with the sale code or just the flash sale no, items? No, you get 25% off the entire site except for class kits. That's the only thing. So that's what I mean. You don't have to um, do the flash sale in order to get 25% off. The 25% off is site wide, regardless of whether you get a flash sale item or not. Somebody thought that I was just trying to get you to buy the flash sale items because that's the only way I was going to give you the discount. Not true. So you get the 25% off. If you put sale 25 when you check out, you get 25% off everything minus class kits. You don't have to, if you don't, if you're like, I don't like the flash sale items tonight, then don't get them. There will be more good stuff tomorrow and the next day. So anyways, then I'm just attaching this layer to the front of our card. Where is the acrylic mount from? The acrylic mount is from Impression Obsession. Thank you. They will be on here later on tonight showing you what's new. I just wanted to demo some of their products because um, these are all of their dyes that we're using. Thank you, Nancy Plowd, for answering that. <clears throat> Love that ornament dye. So, yeah, that's Impression Obsession. So, I believe Mitra is going to be giving you a coupon code for her site, too. Will a store gift card fit in the gift size envelope? I think that yes. takes a credit card size, yes. doesn't it? Yeah, a gift card will fit in that envelope. So, very gently, delicately put that Noel on there. Use a little wet glue, but again, don't use too much. And then I did tie a little bow for up there. And your extra piece of white that is just for an insert for the inside. When will this video be posted? I missed the beginning and need to hear the flash sale items. Oh, I'll show the flash sale items again. Um, the video will be posted as soon as we are done. We post it. So it takes a little bit. It's not instant, instantaneously, but let me, for the people that maybe joined us late, let's look at our flash sale items again really quick, and then we'll go on to the poinsettia card. I'm going to show you how I die cut the poinsettias in order to get the um, veins in them, how they emboss and die cut at the same time. So, but flash sale items. <laughs> we have our brand new, which we normally don't put our new items on sale but the whole site's on sale. So our slimline colored envelopes, brand new. So they're not on sale a whole ton. We just discounted them a dollar a package, but then you get another 25% off. So that brings them down to 30% off the slimline envelopes. Now this flash sale is not indefinite. I will probably be taking it down by about nine o'clock tonight. So don't think about it and get up tomorrow morning and say, where did they go? Cause they won't be there. Okay. So we also, these aren't on sale, but we do have our festive variety slimline cards that match the slimline envelopes. The cards are not on sale, but there is a link on that page from the envelopes to get to the cards. Can you rewind live? No. I don't know if you can rewind I live. I don't know if you can either. So the other item is we have 
a 50 count pack of envelopes. So five each of 10 colors. You have a white and a cream in there, a black, red, yellow, blue, green, orange, purple. Um, so this is normally 1050. It's on sale for $7. Then with the additional 25% off, if you put the sale code in, brings it down to 525. We have our cards and envelopes. These are metallic, five cards, five envelopes. The envelopes are metallic too. So it's not just the cards, the envelopes are, um, they're cryogen white quartz and the gold leaf is matched with a white gold. Um, so it's five cards, five envelopes. They're normally per package for 50. They're on sale in the flash sale box for $3. With the 25% off, it brings them to 225. And then we have our mega um, envelope and trifold window card pack. So you get 60 envelopes. They're normally $22. They're on sale for $20. Then with your 25% off, it's 15. But you get the 60 count bulk pack of window cards for free. So you're getting both the cards and the envelopes. And on the um, item, it does show which window cards, because this is a whole assortment of window cards. It's not just the lighthouse that's here. I think there's 20 different window cards in here, three each of 20 different um, styles. And those styles are listed on the item also. So those are our flash sale items for the night. Again, remember they're only gonna be there until about nine o'clock and then they'll go away. So we did totally run out of our variety packs from last night. So now we are on to our poinsettia card. And while you're shopping fast and furious, I am going to point out a couple more new things on our website. Um, we have cream, cream slimline envelopes. This one has a cream, oh, this one, not mine, but in your package you have a cream text insert. But we also, so cream slimline envelopes are new on our site. Also, this layered kit. If you want to remake this card, this layered kit is on the website. So you get the cream text insert, the wild cherry slimline card, the brushed layer, the brushed gold layer, and the forest green triple oval layer. You don't get all the paper to cut your poinsettias. You don't get the poinsettia dies. This is a paper only layered kit. It's a 25 count kit. So that's brand new on our website today. When those are gone, they're gone. So I do have quite a few of them, but um, this is kind of a special that we did just for tonight. So you can, you can rewind, by the way. You can rewind on your phone and on the computer. Oh, nice. Yes. So for our um, poinsettia card, you're going to just get all, well, this is basically just piecing together. So I did just layer my pieces. I do want to show you how to attach a text insert. That's one thing that I always show. Um, when I'm putting tape down, I put tape down on either side of my score. Do not extend it all the way off the edges of your paper because the text insert is not quite as long, so you don't want to extend it on both ends. I put tape a little bit on both sides of my score. I hold my card at about a 90 degree angle. I take my text insert, which when you get it, it won't be folded. Um, I fold it. I hold that at an angle and then I push it right into my score. I don't do it while it's flat because you may go over your score and then you'd have a kink on the inside. So I hold this at a 90 degree angle and I take my folded text insert and just set it right into the score. And I'm trying to hold mine up so you can see it. And then I just close my card and then I have it attached a little bit to both the front and the back. Sometimes if you attach it all the way around, you get buckling in the middle. So by just putting a little bit of tape right in the middle, that helps prevent your buckling. So, and then we have our poinsettias. I did give everybody 12 poinsettias, and I didn't have these big yellow gems. I had some little yellow gems, so I gave you each two or six little yellow gems. Um, 
my card's falling apart from going in and out of the sleeve. So you you can arrange your poinsettia leaves however you want, um, but you do have about 12 of them in there, plus some little gems. Your piece, you have two layers. You have a white layer and a gold layer. I did layer my gold mirror card on top, just the same as I did with my season's greetings, except this time I don't have any white showing. I just piled it on top of each other, just to give my word piece a little bit more dimension. So I'm gonna show you how I got the embossed leaves using the die. So I'm gonna move my die cutter over. So you can order each day for the flash items, but then contact you to combine daily orders to one big order? Nope, you don't need to contact us. Just in the, when you're picking your shipping, just say add on to other order. There's an add on in the shipping drop down. In the shipping drop down, there is a choice. So you click on the down arrow, and in the shipping drop down, there's a choice that says add on. Or if you're coming and picking up on Saturday, just click pick up every single time and we'll combine your orders. We have them started out in our shop in fairly alphabetical order. Um, so we're, we're combining and we're kind of combining them as they come in, um, but then we're also combining them out in the shop. So you don't have to worry about saying combine them or contact us unless you missed like putting your sale code in or you missed clicking the add on and it charged you full shipping. Then you can contact us and say, hey, I made a mistake. Can you fix this for me? You know, and we'll do our best to fix it. Where does the bling go on the little card? Oh, on the little card? Yes. Hang on. Yeah. So the bling goes right here. There's three down each side. Are right. you talking oh. about that little card? I don't have any bling on this little card. So I didn't put any bling on there. I just have bling on this little one, um, kind of right here, going down the side. Where do I find the dull gloss paper? Dull gloss, that would be under whites. So if you go under, or you could just type in the word dull. I think it's the only thing that we will come up if you type in the word dull. Um, but if you go under bulk stocks and then by shade, which is one of the first boxes, and then go in the whites, you will find the dull gloss in there. But it's really easy to just search for dull. Melinda wants to know if you have black Mary Lava cardstock. We do have black Mary Lava. So these are the colors of the Mary Lava. Um, this is the black. It's not a stark black. Um, just because of the iridescence and how it moves like that. Um, it's not a stark black. So those are the colors of the Miri Lava. You are very patient. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I try. She is. <laughs> she's patient with me too. <laughs> so anyways, when I am embossing, um, so using the dies that have the little embossing lines in them. So if you cut them out just flat or just, if you just die cut them, you won't necessarily get the embossed lines. Oh, I forgot to show you something else, what I do. Is that red Miri card used on the poinsettia? Yes, I'll show you the stocks that are used on the poinsettia. Um, so just regular die cutting, I didn't get the embossing. But what I normally do is I just take some scratch paper. So this is just junk paper. These were labels that I messed up. Um, and I have like two pieces of text paper. So we have our, the stocks that are on our poinsettia are just our wild cherry, our red Miri lava, and our red mirror card. So let me take my mirror card. So I laid two pieces of text paper down and then I used my dies. Now with your dies, if your dies are sticking, this is just my little trick. Um, 
and maybe other people do it too, but I take a dryer sheet, which this is a really old dryer sheet, so it's like a cheaper one, so it's got more of a waxy film on it, and I just rub on my dryer sheet, and it didn't seem to affect my paper. Sometimes when you do sprays, because I've tried sprays too, um, that will affect your paper, but the dryer sheet, I don't usually have a problem with it affecting my fancy paper. If the black is not on the mirror lava page, are you out? Is the black not there? Hmm. hmm. I will have to check into that because no, we are not out of black mirror lava. Um, if it's not on the page, that means that Sarah needs to do some checking and get it on there because we do have the black mirror lava. So I will look into that. Maybe my mom can write me a note. There's the notepad. So I ran that through. Now it didn't necessarily cut all the way through, but I've got two pieces of scrap paper behind it. And that's how, I, I don't know if you can see that. And actually, sometimes I get one that doesn't emboss, and I don't know, I think it's because when it's too close to another die, sometimes they don't play nice together and they don't emboss. Or sometimes you just need to increase your pressure. So, and actually, yeah, that one didn't cut as well. So I'm gonna increase my pressure. Do it one more time. Is it on the, was it the silver Miri card you can use alcohol inks on? Yes, you can use the alcohol inks on the silver Miri card, the silver Miri sparkle, the holographics. Maybe I will do a quick, I can't do my alcohol ink demo tonight, but Maybe tomorrow night during our super live sale, I can do a little quick alcohol ink demo because there's a lot of different, um, you can use alcohol inks on a lot of different papers, but you use them kind of differently. If the black is not on the Miri Lava page, are you sold out? And then Lisa said, try the Miri card page. The Miri Lava should be on the Miri Lava page, okay. um, but that's how you get the nice little embossing on there. Okay. So I will look into the Miri Lava, the black. We are not out of it. Why can't I add white slimline cards and envelopes to my cart? Um, on the white slimline cards, you sometimes you cannot add items from the search page. You need to actually click on the item because it's wanting you to make a choice. Like on the white slimline cards, um, it wants you to pick whether you want um, 25 cards or 10 cards with 10 envelopes. So yes, sometimes when you search and you just click add to basket from the search page, it does not work just because you need to make a choice and the website doesn't know what choice you want to make. Can you walk through the poinsettia layers? Mine don't come out right. No. <clears throat> um, sure. Could be that mom didn't fill them right. Yeah. Or dad. <laughs> yeah, my dad filled them and Ron's mom filled them. So <laughs> they could possibly be slightly different. So we may have to adapt a little, but I can go through the layers with you and what I did. But see the lava, that one comes out really nice. And this one actually stayed in the sheet, um, and then I just kind of pop it out from there. But let me dump all my um, all my poinsettias out. So that's how you get the embossing. I like to just put a few pieces of scratch paper behind them, and that will emboss and cut at the same time. So Impression Obsession also has a leaf set that has the little veins in the leaves, and that's really nice when you can get the those to come out. So just a tip, use some scratch paper behind your die. You won't cut all the way through, um, but you just need to cut through that top layer and that paper behind there will kind of push into the die and make the embossing come out. So let me move my die cutter and we will figure out what we have for um, poinsettia leaves. But like I said, they were put together by my dad and Ron's mom. So you know they might be slightly different you might have to just not all poinsettias are the same 
So Tammy Moore said she found Black Mary. Okay. By typing in typing it in the search and it pulls right up. Now I don't know if that's the Black Mary lava or no. The... Well, hang on. I have my phone here. So <laughs> while you guys are assembling, I will um, let me get my kit and I'm going to lay out my and then I'll just go on my phone and search really quick. And then Ava wants to know um, what she buys because her daughter wants to make the magic cards and Melinda says there are kits for this. Yes, there's kits for the magic card. Thank you, Melinda. Did you choose the quality, the quantity, like 25 or 100? Maybe that was the problem when they were trying to find the... Yeah, you need to choose the quantity for the white yeah. slimline cards. That's one of the things is you need to make sure to choose the quantity. Can I still get the warehouse class kit? No, sorry. Those are totally sold out. Apologize. But we had to move on from class kits. So that one, that one. Where is the mylar paper? If you type in mylar, will you find it? Um, we don't have mylar paper. Okay. Are you meaning, um, are you meaning like the mirror? We have to have miri paper, which is like the miri card. Like what we have in this kit is the mirror card. We do have some lighter weight paper, which is called miri paper, in our specials page, um, our sale page. But we don't have much of it left. The miri paper is much thinner. It's like a text weight paper. So let's see what we have here. These are really beautiful. Thank you. Melinda. So I think this is, I kind of have them ignore the ones in the front of the table here. Oh, Tammy said, no, it wasn't. So sorry. It was just the Miri, not the Miri lava that she was finding. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks, Tammy. So we have the, the two big ones, the Miri lava and the wild cherry. <laughs> and then we have the um, a mirror card one that's a little bit smaller, and then a wild cherry one that's a little bit smaller. On our middle one, we have our kind of our medium big size, not the biggest size of the mirror card. Then we have a little bit smaller in the lava, and then the smallest one in just the wild cherry. What category would I find blending brushes and inks? Um, well, I don't have inks. Inks, you would go to Impression Obsession. Oh, are you talking alcohol inks? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, under Accessories, so under Paper Basics, which is about halfway down on the left-hand side, Paper Basics, and then Accessories. Under the Accessories, you will find blending brushes and alcohol inks. I don't carry ink pads. Impression Obsession does have a full line of ink pads. So our last one is Red Mirror Card, big, the red miri lava as a big one, a wild cherry that's a little bit smaller than a red miri lava, and then another wild cherry. So that's kind of how I built my, I'm going to move them apart so you can actually see them. So that was on one. And you can arrange these however you want. If you have a different way to arrange them, this is not set in stone for how to arrange your point set us. Oh, Teresa said she found it. Thanks. Found what? The Miri the, lava? No, the um, brushes and inks. Oh, okay. Good. But somebody else said type in lava, search lava, and click on the code name for the quantity. And I don't know if they found the black. Oh, I will look at the black um, later on. <clears throat> so, anyways, that is, those are our cards for today. So we have the layered die cut Christmas cards using Impression Obsession dies. So we have our poinsettia card, our mini slimline card, and our little gift card. Um, so now let me just... Oh, one more question. One more question. Do you sell bulk packs of 12 by 12 white and 12 by 12 black? Yes, we do. So if you just search by... Um, if you just search or if you just go to bulk papers, so right below the black bar, bulk papers, that's like one of the first <coughs> categories, open that up, and then you can go to buy shade, and you can go in the whites, and you click on the, I like the 80 pound cougar opaque, that's like the best value, 
and it's the best paper for stamping. Um, it's probably a really good paper for your scrapbooking. So if you click on the 80 pound Cougar Opaque or the 65 pound Sweet Tooth, depending on what you want, those are both the same price. When you open that up, then you will get a choice of size and quantity. So I believe there's a 100 count pack there for the 12 by 12. <clears throat> Um, will your metal plates work in the Gemini? And uh, Christina says, uh, yes, she uses them. Okay. I, I was going to say, I don't know. So, yes, I was going to say anybody else that has the metal plates, um, I have them in two sizes. This is the smaller size for the big shot, and then I have the bigger size for the crossover. Um, they are the thickness of the big shot plastic plates. So, But these were not developed by any of the die cut maker people. I just die cut so much and my son does sheet metal. So this is, and I said to him, I was sick of the metal plates that you get with it, getting all wrinkly and stuff. So I asked him, can I get a thicker metal plate? And he kind of worked with me to figure out which gauge. So this is an 11 gauge stainless steel. So that's what I use for my metal plates. So Mickey, Mikey wants to know what die cutting machine do you use? And oh, the one that I have over here that I was using earlier, that's the crossover two. I also have the big shot. Um, so yes, I cannot attest to the Gemini two, but like another gal said, um, she uses hers on the Gemini two. So let's just talk about tomorrow night really quick. And then Mitra from Impression Obsession is going to hop on and tell you what's new with Impression Obsession. Um, so tomorrow night, we are doing our super live specials sale. I'm actually going to have specials and you are, I'm going to tell you the price so you're not going to bid on them for a price, but you're just going to say if I have, you know, this package and I tell you guys I have 10 of them and this is the price, then you're going to type in mine and whatever I tell you, like I'll tell you what the item name is. Um, so. It's gonna be pretty fast and furious. You wanna make sure you have a good internet connection. And we're not gonna tell you at that time whether you get it because I really need to go back and look at the comments in the order they come in in order to set products aside. And then I will contact you and tell you what your damage is. So that's how our super special sale is gonna work. And Mr. Ron has a lot of specials he's been working on. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. I, I hope it's a lot of fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I know a store near us, Linda from Valley Stamp and Scrap, she does that and she said it works out really well. Um, so if you're local to the area, stop by and visit Linda at Valley Stamp and Scrap. She's a little firecracker. She keeps new stuff coming into her store all the time. Um, she does lives so and she demos all the time. So if you get a chance and you're local, just stop in and see her because she's great. Do you use one metal plate and one clear plate? And Melinda said yes, the metal plate replaces the bottom clear plate. Yes, I do, because then I can see through. I've had had people order two metal plates, and I don't know if they have two machines. But if you use two metal plates together, you can't see where your paper and your die are. So anyways, that's, that's our cards for today. I will go.